Hey guys, so I've got something to show you today. It is these little bubble display backpacks. Uh, I've got two of them. I've got a double wide one and a single one. Uh, these were sent to me by uh, Sergio at Tinkertronics.com. That's his eBay page if you want to check these out. Uh, they're really good value and they really take uh, the sort of trouble out of using these little displays. Now, I did a video about these before, these little displays. And if you look at that video, in fact, I'll put a clip right here. You can see that I've got loads of wires all over the place and I'm using a shift register. So they're just a bit of a, a ball ache to use really. Um, but he's taken all the trouble out of that by using a little Maxim chip. It's a Max 7219 chip, which is an LED driver chip. We'll have a look at the, um, the software that he's written for it. He's written a library to make it very easy to display stuff. I've done a, a little bit of a modification to it and I'll talk about that in a second, just to make it easier to display numbers. But we'll throw it onto a breadboard and we'll see what it looks like. So we've got our little backpacks here. We've got the double backpack at the top here and the single at the bottom, and we're gonna wire them up now. Um, I'm just gonna throw on a mega. You can use any of these five volt uh, microcontrollers. I don't know if they work at 3.3 volts, but I imagine they probably do. Those max chips will have a wide range of voltages it can run with, probably not down to 1.8, but uh, let's plug it in and uh, well, we'll see what it looks like with this example sketch. So I'll be back in a second. So here we go, it was pretty easy to set up. Uh, we've just got our clock pin attached to pin two, our CS pin attached to pin three, and our data in pin attached to pin four, and then we've got five volt on ground. I'm running the basic sketch that he's got with his library, so let's have a look at that. So here we have our basic example, um, hello arduino.ino, uh, and that is the example that comes with the library. And he's got some great uh, explanations in here. It tells you about where the pins need to go, and that you can change them if you want to. It also talks about the power supply, if you've got a single or a double backpack, and then we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, and we go down here, we include the library, and we do a bit of setup. So we've got the uh, setting up the display, so we create an instance of the display, um, and we set up the display, so we say it's got four characters or digits, and we're gonna call it display number one. And then we've got display intensity, and that's on one, and obviously it's, it's bright enough, we don't need it any brighter. And then we've got a char array there um, with hello Arduino, which you can see on the screen. We've got a counter and um, an int i, and that's just to, to control the program flow down here. We've got a while loop, and that's gonna run through the array here. Now, in order to get numbers onto the display, it's a little bit different. So what I've done is I've whipped up a quick example of that. Um, so we can see that on our little display. So this is gonna be using the single backpack only, and then we'll go on to, to look at the double backpack. So in my example, all I've done is um, pretty much messed around with his example. Um, but what I've done is created an analog read so that we can see what the analog value is on, on analog zero. Now I'm using uh, some millis delays so that I'm not reading the analog value all the time so that the numbers constantly change because the analog value is bouncing around a little bit. Um, so we've got that analog value coming in. It's uh, being assigned to an int somewhere down there. Um, so we can see we're setting up the display again. And then we've got this while loop again with four characters. So uh, we're then calling this print digits function that I've written. Now print digits just takes in whatever number that you want to send it. So uh, it's a, a number from zero to 1023 for analog. Uh, and then we'll divide it down and we'll take out the ones, the tens, the hundreds and thousands, and we'll return them depending on the position you ask for. So it returns those numbers there and displays them on the screen. And as you can see, um, it, it works quite well, it's a great, little thing for displaying analog values. So there we go, we've now got our analog value on the screen and I can change that with the potentiometer. You can see it going up and going down. So it's a really nice little display for, for analog values to read. I mean, you can see it bouncing around a little bit there. That's nothing to do with his modules or the code. It, well, it's probably more to do with my code for reading the analog value, but it's, uh, it's just not very accurate, uh, the, the analog value that it's reading. If we wanted to use the 
double backpack, we're going to need to change a couple of things. So we'll go back to the Hello Arduino example that Sergio put together. And then we're just going to change this four under setup display to an eight. And that means it will display eight of these characters at once. So let's upload that and we'll see what it looks like. So we've got the double backpack here giving us our Arduino or hello Arduino as, uh, as it is on there. So you can see that it's filling in the last bit of text there. Um, I just want to sort of summarize now because I think because the setup is so easy for these, there's not much more I can really show you. Um, it's sort of up to you guys to see what real world applications you could use it for. But I think for a watch or for getting analog values out of your Arduino to see them in real time or or just any kind of counter, anything like that would be great for these little displays. So thank you very much, Sergio, for sending this to me. Um, it's brilliant. I really love it. So thank you very much. Um, if you guys have got any questions about it, feel free to write a comment below. Uh, I'm sure if Sergio is around on YouTube, he'll be able to help answer those questions, but I'll, I'll do the best that I can.